Okay, let's take a look at another example where we can actually use elimination as a means of actually producing from two equations, one equation with only one variable. So here I see 2x plus 5y equals 4, and together with 2x minus y equals negative 8. Now, to me, this is screaming out for elimination. I almost have to put my fingers in my ears because it's so loud, because I see a 2x and a 2x. When I see that together, that tells me that that cosmic coincidence can be used to our advantage. So instead of using a substitution method, I'm thinking elimination. Here's what I'm going to do first, though. I'm going to take my 2x plus 5y equals 4. I'm going to write it out. That is the first equation. I'm going to take the second equation. And first, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So if I multiply everything through by negative 1, what do I see? Well, basically, the signs are going to become sort of the opposite of what they currently are. So here I'm going to see a negative 2x. This becomes a plus y. And that equals, when I multiply this by negative 1, I see just 8. Okay, So I just took the second equation, and I multiplied through by negative 1. And you can see that the signs just got flipped. Okay, But now, this is perfect for elimination. Do you see why? I can now take these two equations and add them together. Look what happens. I see 2x plus negative 2x. That cancels out to be 0. So I've eliminated that. So this becomes 0. And here I see a 5y plus y. That's 6y equals, and this is going to be 12. Well, now I can just divide both sides by 6. Isn't this great? And I see that y has to equal 2. So I know y equals 2. Now I've got to find the partner x that goes along with that y. How do I do that? You can pick either equation and plug in 2 for y and solve for x. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I'll use the second one. So if we use the second one, I see that 2x minus, and in place of y I'm putting in 2, equals negative 8. If I add 2 to both sides, what I see here is these drop out. So I see 2x equals, here I see negative 6. I divide both sides by 2 to undo the multiplication of 2, and I see that x equals negative 3. And so I see the answer is x equals negative 3, y equals 2. Or if you want to write it as a pair, you could write it as negative 3, comma 2. And again, you can always check by plugging these values in for x and y into both equations and see that both equations, in fact, um, are satisfied. So elimination is great when you see some kind of cosmic coefficient conspiracy.